just bitten it all off now. I'll have to download a new one. That was so corny. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. When you are logged into YouTube, you should see your channel logo in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens. If you click on that, you have the option to go to YouTube Studio. This is currently in beta, but will become the standard as 2019 progresses. To download a thumbnail from one of your own videos in the new studio, click on the video section where you will find all your videos listed with the most recent first. Click on a video to jump to the edit page and under the basics tab, you should see a selection of potential thumbnails selected from the video and your current thumbnail if it is a custom one. There should be a box with three dots inside the current thumbnail. If you click on that, you have the option to replace it with a new thumbnail or download the existing one. When you click download, the image may appear in a new web browser where you can do the usual right click and save as if you're on a PC. If you're on an Apple computer, such as one of the new MacBook Pros, well, those don't even come with SD card slots, so you're on your own, to be honest. One thing to note, it doesn't matter what resolution you uploaded the thumbnail as, it will always be downloaded as 1280 by 720. Now, that's how you download your thumbnails, but you can download any thumbnail from any YouTube video. To do this, the video has to be public and you will need the video ID. You can get this from the watch page URL and it will be a random collection of numbers and letters after the equal symbol. So highlight all of that and copy it. On a new browser tab, you will need to type in the following URL. I'll leave this link in the video description to make this another copy and paste job. All you need to do is replace YouTube-Video-ID with the actual video ID. Once inserted, you should be able to press enter or click go and you should now see the thumbnail from that video. So that's how you download any thumbnail from any video on YouTube, but you've got to be careful about why you're doing this. If you just want it for your own personal use, say to look at a larger version of the thumbnail and see if there are any good strategies and tactics that you can use in your own thumbnails, that's fine. It's when you want to use it for broadcast or commercial purposes. Remember, a creator's video is their own copyrighted material. And the same goes for the thumbnail. So if you want to use this thumbnail in your own content, then you should really ask permission from the video creator. So, original video creator of a thumbnail we used, can we use this thumbnail on our video? Yes. Yes, you can. Gee, talk about awkward. Of course, you could use the thumbnails in your content and claim fair usage as educational or transformative content, but that's a topic for another video. Just one more thing before I go, you may have noticed some interesting tools on the video page when we were looking at the analytics. Those that come from vidIQ, one of those is to create a custom thumbnail that is completely free, along with a lot of our tools which will help you research YouTube, analyze videos, audit your own channel and take actionable steps. There is a link in the video description. For more helpful YouTube beginners guys, we have a playlist over here. For more awesome vidIQ content, we've got a video down here. We'll see you in either of those locations right now. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your video making day. Oh, and just before any Apple fanboys get on my back, I bought an entire desktop that doesn't have an SD card slot. So I had to end up buying my own. Who's the idiot now?